per hour. That's some serious heat. Now, Taylor gives his service secrets to you. I was known for my serve, and when it was clicking in matches, it seems like I couldn't get off the court fast enough, and wins just came easy. But when my serve wasn't clicking, boy oh boy, matches got really, really difficult. Most bad serves that I see have one thing in common, that's incorrect spin. They try and get too much slice on the ball, that means outside of the ball coming inwards. And what you need on a great serve is topspin. You want to hit that hard and get it up over the net and dipping down fast. In order to have great spin on the ball, you have to have a great toss. And to me, that means a toss that's going to land on about the top of your head. When the toss is above your head, it just puts your weight in the best position to really go up through the ball. The best way I've found to describe to students how to generate the correct spin is just to imagine the ball as a clock face. 12 o'clock's obviously on top, 6 o'clock's on the bottom. The attempt is to hit the ball from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock to generate that top spin. And it's not really possible to go 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock to get a true, true top spin, but the attempt makes that serve have the correct spin. I think one of the most important things on any serve is getting to the, I guess you call it the trophy position. And again, we're talking about spin. The trophy position just loads your body so you can put maximum amount of energy up into and through that ball. There are three different examples I can give you that get to the trophy position in a very different fashion. Sampras had a very, very delayed right arm, but he got there sooner or later. Roddick starts very short and gets there this way. And myself, I have a more traditional swing where I'm using both arms at the same time, but I get there as well. The elements of it is a good left arm extension. Your shoulders should be turned and a good shoulder angle up. Remember, we want to go up. We have to stay side on as long as we can and at the last second, exert all of our energy going up through that ball. And landing on that inside foot like every player does these days just shows you how long they keep their weight sideways. And pronation is important too. There are many things that create good spin and good pace on a ball, but nothing trumps racket head speed. Uh -oh. Treat your arm like a whip. The shoulder has to be involved, the elbow has to be involved, and most importantly, that wrist has to be involved. That is going to be your most efficient way to get that ball zipping through the air fast. Your shoulder has a lot of strength in it, but it's a big, big joint. Your elbow is a little bit quicker, and your wrist is the quickest. Now, if you can time all three of those things exploding together up into that serve and whipping over the ball, you're going to get a lot of pace and a lot of spin with very, very little effort. This takes time and practice, and when you're out there hitting these serves, don't worry if they go over the fence. If you are making a big change, you should expect inconsistent results. But I guarantee you, if you master the art of whipping your arm, you're going to see the results. Legs are an important factor of the serve, but in my opinion, it's a smaller factor than a whole bunch of other things. And obviously, demonstrating is better than words, so I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to hit one where I jump, and one where I don't jump with my legs. Here's the first one. I'm going to jump with my legs. Watch this. This might not be quite as big, but it'll certainly be close. Almost the same. Just remember, legs are important, but not as important as keeping your arm loose and whippy. The more whip you get out of your arm, the faster and more effective your serve will be.